Hello Internet friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I am again working on Chief Architect Premier version X10 on my iMac desktop computer, but these uh, tips and tricks will still work if you're working on a PC. So I'm working on a project in which I have some dormers above, uh, above a garage uh, for storage space. And I wanted to show you a few things. Right now, um, you can see the second floor plan. Here's the exterior view and the interior view. Well, when, if I set these windows, first of all, uh, at the standard 80 inch head height off the floor, I'm getting too close to the roof situation, uh, roof uh, structure with, with the uh, casing. And I also suspect that this roof structure is not the proper size. So let's just double check that. I'm going to select all four of these dormer roof planes and click into structure and they are two by sixes. That is uh, not what I want. Um, for this case, I'm going to put nine and a quarter um, just for giggles and uh, put that on there and change nine and a quarter. Let's go back and look inside and obviously way too tight. So that needs to go up um, at least by six inches. So let's select these four roof planes and I'm going to transform replicate move in the Z delta six inches. Now what I need to do is I need to select these edges of the roof plane and join them to the uh, roof opening. Uh, you can see the roof opening is outlining the, the dormer walls there. So I'm gonna... come on. Fail. It's not wanting to play nicely. There we go. There we go. Now let's take a look on the interior. Pretty close. It could go up. Um, could go up three more inches. So let's do that. And once again, we will. Adjust those, take a look, and now we're not on the uh, casing. That's fine, but you know what? I don't want to see these walls come all the way down, and so here's the major trick that I'm going to be showing you. This roof plane, that uh, this opening, uh, roof opening, it's a hole in the roof plane, cuts a hole in the main roof here, and if I select the main roof, you can see where those holes are. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select that and pull that on the inside of my cheek wall, dormer cheek wall, on both, both walls. Now I have a bit that wraps around, makes like a T for this opening, and that's fine. And then lastly, the trick is to select both walls. I hit the space bar uh, to, on my keyboard to do the select objects mode and I'm going to shift click on both walls and command E on my keyboard, control E if you're on a PC and go into roof and check the option roof cuts wall at bottom. Now I'm going to pull that up here just a bit. Same on this end. And let's take a look inside. Look at that snip snap right to where we want it. If you want these to come all the way down, that's fine, but this is how you would get it to work in the um, mode here. There's the exterior view, plan view, let's switch to this. Now the trick is that it does look like there's a wall on the floor system. Um, 
if if you want, let's con let's uh, command X and put these up on the attic floor system, and now they're just not present here. Um, and I don't know that there's a really great way to um, let's do roof. Now, if you put the roof up on the attic, as well as the walls, um, it's going to show up properly here in 3D and in all your sections. Um, interestingly, this one, this wall has a difficult time because this wall is part of that dormer. Now, I suppose if we put a, yeah, there's no way to put a, a corner board there unless we make a manual corner board um, with a polyline solid shape, at the, you know, that L shape and, and then just give it the thickness and height that we want it. Then you could cover up that corner and it would look appropriate. For now, I'm going to put it back down on second floor. Command X, you'd be using Control X on your PC. Command Option V or Control Alt V on your PC. Say F12 to rebuild. Look inside. Chief has done, in X10, Chief has done a great job of really making these edges. It used to be a bear um, to make these edges work properly. And uh, they've done a really good job of doing that now. Last little bit is I want this to show, be seen. So actually, that's going to go up a little more. Whole system's going to go up two and a quarter. So I'm going to select all of the roof planes, move them in the Z delta two and a quarter. Let's look back at the cross section. There we go. Because I want that. I want a. Um, I want a uh, full joist with a rim. I want to put a plate on top of that, and then the the uh, rafter will rest on the plate with the bird's mouth there. Let's do this. That looks fine. That looks fine. There we go. Let's add our corner boards. I hope this has been helpful for you. If you learned something new with the um, uh, roof cuts wall at bottom option, you find that inside the the um, details of the of the uh, of the wall specification itself under the roof tab or roof uh, options here. Roof cuts wall at bottom. Now, in order for that to work, again, you have to you have to put the um, outline of the roof uh, opening, the outline of the roof opening has to come inside the dormer cheek walls, or that won't work. If I pull that outside like this, you'll see. Let's pull that outside. Come on. Um, it doesn't know what to do. 
pull that back inside. It's got to have a roof to cut, right? F12 on my keyboard. Okay, well now it's making a fool out of me, right? Oh, that's because I roof goes out here, the roof plane comes back here. There we go. I was pulling the wrong thing. And F12 on the keyboard. There we go. Did I pull the wrong thing originally? Yeah, now it's going to assume that it's cutting, this roof is cutting the bottom of it. Come on. Yeah, so it's assuming the top roof is cutting the bottom of it. Uh, we got to go back to fixing that. There we go. F12. Built it up nicely. And there you go. I hope this has been helpful. If you've learned something new uh, or a quick little way, something helpful for you, I would appreciate the encouragement of a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments uh, if you if you have any thoughts or or uh, conundrums that uh, you'd like to have a quick tip in the future uh, Tech Tip Tuesday worked out, and we'll try to get that into the schedule. As always, have a great week. This is uh, July 3rd. I'm recording this so and posting this, so I hope you have a wonderful and safe uh, 4th of July uh, holiday tomorrow if you live in the U.S. If you're outside the U.S., have a wonderful week.